right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hi everyone. Hi. 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 Um, is it okay uh, if uh, I read uh, a little excerpt from my memoir? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Because uh, uh, normally I do stand up, but I feel like I feel like reading a, a little chapter from my uh, as of yet unpublished uh, memoir. So I want to do that. <clears throat> Um, so, uh, it's, it's all true. <laughs> um, I should preface that that way. Um, okay. I woke up on top of a glowing white horse. I was bleeding a bit from my mouth, and my body ached. Shh, said the horse. You're safe now, just stay silent. I slowly remember how I got there. It all started on a crisp October morning. I checked my email, and much to my surprise, some of the job ads I replied to on Craigslist actually wrote back. Uh, the ad that replied, the ad that I, I answered read, and I quote, I'm looking for a patient and young soul with dexterous fingers who can help me figure out my iPad. <laughs> The email, the email read as follows. Dear Julio, upon inspecting the picture of your hands, which you can be attached, I realize that you're exactly what I need. Do you know iPads? <laughs> I'm, af I'm afraid I don't understand mine, or maybe we don't understand each other. <laughs> Please meet me at my home upstate at midnight, and don't be late. We're a very high-profile couple, so we won't reveal our identities till the time is right. Signed, Helena Bonham Carter, sent from my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I arrived at her, at her home lap that night. It was a big mansion in the middle of a desolate road. I crossed the rusty iron gates and walked through the garden of thorns and broken statues. I Instagrammed somebody, <laughs> and then I knocked on the door. <laughs> A pale, wide-eyed housemaid opened the door. She was holding a feather duster. I'm sorry, I said. Are you Christina Ricci? <laughs> no, said Christina Ricci. <laughs> My name is Priscilla. My parents died in a terror fire, and now I'm forced to... That's enough, said Helena Bonham Carter on top of the staircase. Christina Ricci then hurried away. <laughs> Just some games we played, explained Helena. <laughs> Follow me. The iPad is down this way. <laughs> we walked down a long, misty corridor until we finally arrived at their home office. I could tell there was, they were working on a, new, on a new project because there was a whiteboard with key secret terms written on it, such as whimsical and dark. <laughs> was circled three times. <laughs> oh, this lady was spooky, all right. <laughs> She's over there, said Helena, pointing at the iPad box. <laughs> then suddenly I heard a new voice. Is he the boy? I turned around, and much to my surprise, there she was, Isabella Rossellini. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I hope you don't mind that I invited a friend said Helena Bonham Carter. We both need help with our iPads. <laughs> Helena held her iPad box and blew on it as if there was any, any, any dust on top of it, treating it like it was some kind of a spell. Um, Isabella Rossellini held her own iPad. She looked at the iPad screen and said, I fear her. <laughs> she, she looked at her own reflection on the screen and said, She's so deep and dark and full of secrets. <laughs> Helena Bonham Carter handled her iPad with incredible care. 
She unraveled the charger ever so slowly, <laughs> explaining that the Maxtor genius was very adamant about keeping the accessories. <laughs> <coughs> then, I guided Isabella Rosalini through the very basic apps. What's that one? She asked. Oh, that's Pandora, I said. <laughs> well, do not open it for the love of Zeus, she grinned. <laughs> Then we went through some of their old emails and deleted a bunch. Oh, this one from Wes Anderson said on the bottom card. He's inviting me to some old fashioned tea party. The man is such a cliche. <laughs> then I, I showed her how to set up an, an automatic reply that read, Helena Bonham Carter will be out of office on October 31st to observe the holiday. <laughs> um, Helena then offered me a drink. Uh, she was very, very pushy about it. Uh, Do you want a Snapple? She said. <laughs> uh, sure, I said. I took a few sips from the Snapple. <laughs> <laughs> Isabella Rosalini was having her own snapple. <laughs> she looked into the, into the snapple cap and brought it close to her chest. <laughs> then she turned to me and asked, What did the elixir whisper to you? <laughs> Meaning she wanted to know what my snapple fact was. <laughs> then, I watched uh, as Helena Bonham Carter shopped the Nancy, <laughs> mainly through for tiny little black top hats with little veils. <laughs> I'm also going to do workout clothes, she said. And by that I mean mainly corsets to wear under my black gowns before when I go running in the woods. <laughs> I finished my Snapple and suddenly I started shaking. What's happening? I asked. I noticed that my palms started glowing. I knew it, said Isabella Rossellini. He's the one. <laughs> uh, what, I, don't, I don't understand what's happening, I said. You see, the drink says that you're the one. You're the one that will help us defeat her. Then, suddenly, tiny little particles of light started entering through the window. <laughs> ah, said Helena. There she is. The little particles of light began to gather, glowing brighter and brighter. The room was suddenly so bright that Helena Bonham Carter couldn't take it. She then transformed herself into a cloud of swarming bats. <laughs> some of them bouncing about the ceiling, but, but some of them coiling the iPad charger back together and putting it in the box. <laughs> Particles of light kept, gro kept growing bigger and bigger and started forming a big orb. Inside of the orb, I noticed who, who was starting to form. It was no other than Tilda Swinton. <laughs> Do not hide from me, Helena, she yelled. <laughs> Isabella Rosalini then conjured a storm of mighty purple winds. Tilda uh, hid herself inside of her orb and then released the bomb of light that destroyed the house and left me unconscious. Then, my memory gets a little iffy, but I remember waking up top of the horse, <laughs> and in the distance, I could see Tilda, Isabella Rossellini, and, and, and Helena Bonham Carter finding, fighting an epic battle. What's going on, I asked the horse again. Well, I saved you. The horse glowed, and it had a beauty about it that I'll never forget. You see, said the horse, every night, Helena Bonham Carter, Tilda Sweet, and Isabella Rosalie fight to the death. <laughs> <laughs> and they've been looking for the one, the one whose blood is pure and true that would help them put an end to the madness. And, and who are you? I asked. I am two-time Academy Award-winning actress Kate Blanchett. <laughs> I am very versatile. <laughs> how, 
How can I ever repay you? I asked poor Kate Blanchett. <laughs> well, she neighed. <laughs> Rumor has it, you're very good with iPads. <laughs> you see, I have an iPad. And I, have to, and I have a lot of pictures of my boys in there. My Oscars. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes I try finding them and sometimes they're there. But sometimes I, I can't seem to find them. Well, they must be in the cloud, I said. Ah, said Horace Kate Blanchett, <laughs> looking into the heavens. There are some mysteries in this world I will never understand. Thank you. <laughs>